Yeah, your boy's excited. I've been wanting to get this fragrance for a while and I finally picked it up and pulled the trigger. I'm a fan of barbershop fragrances, so if it has any kind of a twist, then I'm all interested. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out this barbershop that's burning. Hey, Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. DS Durga's Burning Barbershop is in full effect. I've been wanting to get this fragrance for a while. I'm a fan of the barbershop fragrance. There's nothing more comforting to me than that soapy, lavendery, kind of foamy type vibe. Hopefully this has that with a twist. I mean, there has to be something to the burning aspect. And actually there's notes listed right here. So let's just get right into that. Style the burning barbershop. So there's a story behind it. So let's read it. A fire broke out in the Curling Bros Barbershop in Westlake, New York in 1891. All the shaving tonics with their spearmint, lime, vanilla, and lavender burned. A charred bottle was found half full and it smelled like this. That's a very cool concept. The notes are listed as spearmint, lime, hemlock, spruce, lavender, absolute, tuberose, Turkish rose, burnt oil, vanilla, and hay. I like the hay vibe. Burnt oil, I'm very interested to smell. I wonder if in my head it's registering kind of like a by the fireplace kind of crispy toastiness about it, but we shall find out. Let's unwrap this joint. I love the presentation. Very funky, very different. Gotta enjoy that for sure. Looks like a slider style case. Little hole opening here. Yep, there's a vibe. I definitely like this box. Great presentation and it's sturdy. It's not just soft and cheapy. All right, so it's got a little cover here. Take that shit off. And <clears throat> here is the bottle of the Burning Barbershop. Very cool presentation. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go ahead and start the sniffing dough. We've clearly read the notes. Now we're gonna see if we can interpret those notes. What's going on here? This is a little, am I gonna break this? Is it? Okay, so very firm top. and actually has some weight to the cap. You hear that? Like this is not lightweight. Okay, so we're not doing cheap. But it's got a stubby little sprayer. Look at the sprayer on this shit. It's like short and stubby, like my dick. All right, cool. Let's fucking go ahead and do this. Burning Barbershop by D.S. Durga. Oh, that's a little harsh. <clears throat> it's a little harsh on the opening. The spearmint was really, really present, but not in a good way. It kind of smelled a little doctor office-ish. I was a little, woo, I was a little punchy. Not what I expected. This fragrance is not what I expected. It's now changing though. Wow, yeah, that, that spearmint. It smelled like pure spearmint oil. Really punched you in the face. Holy fuck. All right, I need to give this a minute. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of spearmint oil in the air right now. <coughs> like a lot. Not what I expected. All right, not something I could smell too close either because it's, it's, there's a lot going on here. Okay, definitely smelling a little different right now. Spearmint is still very present. It definitely smells like barber tonic. You get that, 100%. Smells like right, like barber old school aftershave you get slapped on after a straight razor. Spearmint is reducing a little bit. You get that burnt oil. Smells like clipper oil. You know what? I don't love this right now off of paper. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of intrigue and interest here and there's a lot of depth and based on the story, I get it. The story totally matches with the fragrance, but off paper, there's a lot going on that doesn't, it doesn't like wow me right now. It, it's more really complex and kind of scattered. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try this on my arm real quick, but I'm not too thrilled about it. I'm not gonna front, I'm just, you know, I like to keep it honest on my per my opinions. Again, these are just my opinions. People are gonna be like, oh, whatever, who cares? I don't give a shit. All right, so, yeah, the burn so the spearmint doesn't pop off of my skin like it did on paper. Right now, that burnt oil, burnt clipper oil is what I'm getting. Oh, it's harsh. This is a challenging fragrance. It's not easy. This is all about the artistic in that story. That story resonates completely, 100% in this fragrance. But with that being said, it is a little challenging. I don't know. I'm, I'm, 
I'm in a weird limbo spot with this fragrance. I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. I like the story behind it. I like that the fragrance resonates with the story 100%. I like the notes, I just don't like the combination of the notes and what it does on paper or even on my skin. But it does go with the story, so I'm kind of like caught between a rock and a hard place. If I'm going for strict story representation in a fragrance, a hundred thousand percent, I mean they hit it out of the park with that. Now, fragrance wise, it's a little challenging for me. The more that it dries down, the more tolerable it becomes but this is simply artistic storytelling kind of fragrance. This isn't, this doesn't have a mass appeal about it, which not all fragrances really need to. I wanna feel sexy, I wanna feel dope, I wanna feel fly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna be exclusive and different and this will give you that, but if I gotta find mad excuses for it, then it really means that it's just not vibing with me right now. So I'm gonna have to unfortunately give this a quarter ball spray. Why I'm gonna give this a quarter ball spray? Because the story behind it is completely accurate to what they were trying to represent. It's not a shit fragrance, but it doesn't do it for me. It doesn't, it doesn't spark and it doesn't resonate with what I thought this fragrance was gonna be. So I'm gonna go back and do a quarter ball spray. That's it. That's spearmint oil. The spearmint oil really like, it doesn't come off skin. It comes off a of paper and on my ball sack, but it's not horrible, but it's not great. Very artistic, 100% valid to the story. Let me know what you guys think of the burning barbershop. If you smelled it or any other DS Durgas that I need to smell. And I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough brother that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.